and we've had a chance to, to walk around the floor and see all the exhibits. Um, what do you think investors, you know, so this is huge, as you said, billions and billions of dollars. What should investors be looking at if they want to look at this unmanned or drone type industry? Well, it's a tricky thing to invest in because obviously, you know, you can look at a company like Northrop, Boeing, Lockheed Martin, but it's a really small portion of their business. So basically, you're left over with companies like iRobot and AeroVironment, which are a lot smaller and are going to have a hard time competing on price, you know, because, you know, they don't have the economies of scale that a Boeing or Northrop would. But at the same time, you know, they might be able to have better relationships. And a lot of times, companies like to go with um, smaller companies because they're investing in a startup and get a better more personal relationship with that company. And I think for investors, what you really need to focus on is that domestic development of using drones in America for business purposes, state and federal purposes. You know, you can get on AVAV's Aero Environments website and they have their little helicopter they use for police operations is what they want to use it for, where the police officers show up to a site, they let it fly up in the air, and then they can scope out where the criminal, you know, the, is hiding and then they can, you know, direct the police and actually um, get them to surrender maybe without any um, having the police to do anything dangerous. So that's really interesting. I think investors really need to keep an eye on that because if you actually want to invest in unmanned as, as like a pure play, a company like Aero Environment is probably near the top of your list. Uh, last time I looked at them, they were a little pricey for my taste, but if they could open a new business line around domestic offerings, that would be really cool. And uh, some of these uh, drone type technologies are used in agriculture. That's supposed to be a huge segment of this business as well. I think what's interesting maybe is to look ahead by the year 2015, uh, the FAA is supposed to have guidelines in place for personal drone use. How about you? Are you going to buy one, send it out or, around the city? I mean, recreational, it seems kind of fun. I don't know. I might get myself in a little trouble. I imagine there will be some laws governing the operation of those. But, um, yeah, I mean, personal hobbyists, you know, there's uh, drones out there you can buy right now. You know, yeah. you see them in the styrofoam. they got the four blades. But as far as, like, the really hardcore... Um, you know, you have your, what's called a gimbal, it's the little camera you see rotating on the bottom. Something that's really sophisticated. I don't know if your average hobbyist is going to be able to afford <laughs> something like that, but it is something to look for as an investor. Always keep an eye on that, see how it develops over time. All right, great. Thank you, Blake. Thanks, Rex.